Hey everyone, uh, my name is Anil. I work at Google and RPG platform. In this 4 minute video, uh, we're going to see how to quickly create uh, an API proxy which does uh, SOAP to REST conversion. And we're also going to see how to add a business logic after getting an XML response uh, back from the target server. Uh, prerequisites for this video, uh, you need apg edge account for that, you can log in uh, using apg.com slash edge. Once you're logged in, uh, you can create an API proxy by navigating to API proxy section. Let's create a proxy which does uh, SOAP to REST conversion. Uh, choose the SOAP to REST uh, conversion service wizard when you're creating an API proxy and then click on next. You can upload a SOAP uh, uh, to convert into REST uh, web services. You can use file and upload the visual file or you can use an example URL just to see how it works. So I'm going to use an example URL and select the star code uh, Vizdal, uh, which converts uh, the SOAP service to REST service. So click on next and uh, uh, click on next and choose the pass through as a proxy and choose the defaults and quickly build and deploy the proxy. So we, we are going to uh, uh, see the SOAP to REST service in action. So what it does is it creates an API proxy bundle with a bunch of policies which will do the SOAP to REST conversion. As you can see, APG automatically generates uh, the proxy as well as attaches uh, policies which does the SOAP to REST conversion. So let's see a quickly SOAP to REST uh, uh, converted API in action. So I'm going to uh, make a call to get quick code uh, API. So we're going to make a call to quick code and send the stock symbol. Uh, let's use the stock symbol Google and uh, license key some string and make an api call as you can see it does uh, the soap to rest conversion and you get uh, a json response uh, with the result let's um, add some uh, custom business logic to that particular uh, soap to rest converted api proxy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, quickly a business logic which uh, uh, simply uh, I'm going to remove these policies. I'm going to add a business logic and extract the stock value. And if the stock value is greater than 100, I'm going to convert the response to XML to JSON. If it is not, I'm going to skip it. So I'm going to add this custom logic. I just remove all the policies after XML to JSON. And I'm going to add uh, an extract variable policy uh, to the response and then place it after the remove the namespaces. So I have this extract variable policy which extracts uh, the uh, stock value from the XML payload. So we're gonna replace the XML extract variable policy with the one. As you can see, it extracts uh, the get quick code result and then uh, assigns it the stock value. Now I'm gonna make uh, the XML to JSON as a conditional flow where um, uh, it executes uh, uh, the XML to JSON uh, only if uh, the stack value is greater than uh, 100. So I have the simple condition uh, execute uh, the XML to JSON only if uh, the stack value is greater than 100. So that's how we simply added a custom business logic. So let's test this uh, business logic quickly. So I'm going to save. Uh, the proxy so i'm going to start it with session so quickly make a call as you can see if i make uh, uh, the stock symbol google where uh, the price is more than 841 800 dollars so you get an json response if i make the same call with some other stock symbol which is price is less than 100 i get an xml and you can also see the same thing in the trace if it is uh, more than 100, you can see that XML to JSON is getting executed. If it is less than 100, then it is getting skipped. Where we have extracted the stock uh, value using the extract variable policy. So that's how you add a custom logic and uh, to the SOAP to REST uh, converted uh, web service. Thank you for watching this video.